Hello fellow gamers, this is Lewis from the VGA, the Video Game Autopsy. And I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to do somewhat of an unscripted uh, review, a uh, sort of commentary about the uh, you know, Doom 3, the BFG edition that just came out a few days ago. And I haven't, I haven't really, I've never done one of these, so, uh, so please be kind. And uh, for those of you who watch my videos, I do have another one coming, so uh, maybe we'll get to that later on this week. Alright. Uh, so Doom, what can I say about Doom? You know, well, well, you know, Doom is still, to me, still the king of, you know, the FPS shooters out there. Because, you know, there's, you know, because this was back then, you know, when this was unique, you know. You know there was really nothing that could match this. You know, and today, you know, they're, ev you know, they are everywhere. You know, Call of Duty, Battlefield, you know, the, the, the list goes on. And so, you know, actually, my favorite version of Doom is actually the Super Nintendo version. You yeah, know, and I know that sounds that sounds a little obscure, but you know what I love about the Super Nintendo version of Doom, it, you know, it was actually really fun. You know, it's still fun to play. I know the graphics are pretty bad. You know, you know I won't, I can't really say anything bad about you know because about that one because you know it's you know it's still fun to play. You know, and I still play it as often as I can. But the one thing you can't argue about the Super Nintendo version of Doom is you know the music was awesome. You know the boom 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 boom. boom. You know, that music, and, and when I actually played this version of Doom, because I played them all in order, Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 3, you know, it's kind of surprising, you know, the, the music, you know, the sound quality is really good, solid, but you know, the graphics are really good for this one, but I'm like, eh, I don't have, uh, I don't have the Super Nintendo music, I'm like, that one was awesome, you know, and, you know, but that doesn't destroy it as a whole, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just kind of down, like, uh you know that one may be choppy and maybe you know but the music was awesome and if there's ever if you ever like if you ever put this collection together and you know please include the super nintendo version you know because then you know because then that would make it complete you know <laughs> anyway when i played you know when i played doom you know this version you know it's so you know i'm not gonna i don't really want to call it better but it sort of is than the super nintendo version but, you know the graphics are much better but again the sound yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Keep keep going back to that. Anyway, anyway, well, this version, you know, it's still fun to play. And, you know, my favorite gun game is probably uh, kind of like the shotgun in the Gatling. You know, I love using the shotgun because you know, you know, it's mindless fun. You know, and that's what's fun about you know, it's about Doom. You know, it's classic. It's just fun to play. You know, I can still play. You know, I can still play it nowadays. You know, and. You know, it, you know, a lot of these newer games that really don't have anything on Doom, because you know, you know, may have better, you know, the graphics may be breathtaking on some games, you know, like Killzone 3, which is probably one of the best-looking FPS shooters ever. But, you know, but you know, Doom is in a class all its own. You know, and that's saying a lot. Anyway, um, you know, this is a really fun version of Doom to play. You know, and you know, as far as you know, as far as console versions go, this one's pretty damn good. To be honest, when I got to playing Doom 2, I wasn't really, you know, I didn't really play Doom 2 as much as I played the first Doom. So going into this one, I was kind of a little bit, like, I didn't really know what to expect. But when I played it, I'm like, oh, it's actually a little bit easier to navigate this time. You know, because the first Doom, it's very labyrinth-like, you know, much like how Wolfenstein was labyrinth-like. But Wolfenstein, you know, it is a labyrinth. This one's a little bit more linear, and it's a little easier to find your way around, you know. You know, the shotgun, you know, the sh I can't get over the, the awesome shotgun, you know. Anyway, you know, it, you know, the gameplay is very much the same, and, you know, it's still, you know, as far as, you know, this is still good to play. I'll say that. It's really good to play. It's really fun to play. Sorry. And, um, last thing, well, last one I have to talk about is obviously, you know, you know, the main course, you know, the star of the show, Doom 3. And how does Doom 3 hold up nowadays? I'd say pretty well. You know, it's you know, it kinda of takes the formula and you know it you know, this one actually it's very, very haunting, you know. That's what I love about this one. You know, it's just you know, kinda of keeps you on the edge of your seat, you know, and when you're playing this in the dark, kinda of like how I was playing it, it kinda of like creeps you out and makes you hinge. You know, and this would be you know, this would be trumped later on by like games like Dead Space, which kind of like, which kind of like took, which kind of like took the haunting and chilling atmosphere, you know, of game of yeah, games like Doom, and kind of just like took their own spin on it. You know, but this one, you know, it, it's very haunting. You know, the fact that like, you know, the fact that you know, you kind of your navigation's a little, 
you can have like a predestined way to navigate but you don't know what's on the end of your every corner and what i loved about doom 3 is like you know the, the enemy yeah, yeah you know it's really smart you know they'll hide in corners you know they'll you know they'll hide in corners you know they'll slide away from you they'll appear out of nowhere behind you sometimes and they'll catch you i mean that's what i mean that's brilliant that's what i mean that's awesome right there you know and there would be a while before i saw games like uncharted again like i said in my uncharted 3 video like there were like the enemy yeah, yeah, i would do that a lot and, you know you heard of this one I'm like oh that's pretty good i really like that I'm not dying a lot, though. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so how does Doom 3? Again, Doom 3, I still think it really holds up pretty well. Again, it's very, again, it's very haunting. And the fact that your, that your light turns out, uh, your light has a meter for how long it could be on. You know, the fact that it dims out, like, for a few seconds, you could be in the dark. I mean, it's a very, you know, it's a very chilling, you know, and it's much, you know, it's much more haunting than the other games. And... And again, it, it comes high. It's highly recommended. You know, I, I can't stress that enough. It's just it's just mindless fun to play. And it looks like we're coming to the end of our video here. Um, any last thoughts? Yeah, um, I could say you know I had I really had fun playing this game. You know, all you know all three of them. You know, they're they're, they're still great games to play. Don't get me wrong about that. Yeah, and that's really all I can say. Just just go pick it up. Just go play it right now. And, and for those who haven't played Doom. What the hell are you doing wasting your time? Go buy it. Anyway, this is Lewis from the VGA signing off. And um, yeah, I have plenty more videos coming. So um, stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, comment. Tell me what you think. Good night.